Yo, this is the tunnel place, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Are you guys ready to end this one? I am. So, we have now gotten a level up, become stronger, and we are ready to go. So now we have to get up to where we were. But this one is a bit tricky, because we have to use the airplane mode in a different way. We have to end it in the air. Yep, that is actually possible. It's a bit of a tricky way, but that's just basically how we're going to do it. So, we need to head all the way back to where we came from. Don't worry though. It's not as hard as it sounds like. It's just this part I hate. <sighs> Damn it. That way the worst part is over though. Go. Now the worst part is over. Now we have to get to on this platform above here. Like that. So go like this. Now instead of instead of flying, just go drop. Like that. See? Easy. Ignore the airplane mode, you just drop it. And then. Okay, that was not the intention though, but you know what I mean. I was not supposed to do like that. I didn't know I would jump down like that, but whatever. With the switch. So, that's fine. We probably didn't even need to use clips like that, but eh, uh, whatever. Let's put on Vivian again. I think Vivian will be the best one in the next party, in the next uh, boss battle, because the boss battle will have multiple targets. And even though Fleur is good against single target uh, for tanking, I think. Vivian is still the best for her Fury Jinx. It's easy to do, hits everyone. I mean, of course, uh, if you really want to waste a Volley Flower points, you probably want to use uh, uh, Admiral Bobbery, because he's, he does even more damage. But, you know what I mean. I think she's more reliable. But feel free to do whatever. I think uh, I think she'll be fine enough though. Let's wait, don't get triggered here. Oof, these platforms are bad. It's going to go fine now, I think. There we go. That was going too bad. Whew. There we go. What an annoying room to go through. So much back and forth. Just to get the platform. There we go, and there we go. Up here. Use the key card when you're ready. Make sure you're ready in terms of flower points and HP, badges, and so we want to use. Because this boss bus battle can be a bit annoying. It's not like super dangerous though, but... It's not the hardest boss in my opinion, but just... You know what to be ready for. Why can't we get rid of the Why can't was bad? Really bad. I hate it. Hmm... Anything else we can use it with though? I don't think so actually. Maybe Happy Heart could be well, I even Happy Heart P. Got a low A. Now that he has so much HP though, I don't think it matters that much. I guess damage or HP is fine. Okay. Choose the card key. And then, let's get ready. To meet someone we haven't met in a while, but someone we have met before. And fought before. <laughs> it's Lord Crump. I've been waiting for you. Oh man, have I been waiting. And I hate waiting. Crump, you've been waiting for us? 
What does that mean? <sighs> I'll tell you it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here. So that I could take your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And you will know the best part. Your little peachy girl isn't even here anymore. So Peach was here. Where did you take her, Crump? <laughs> like I tell you the plan. That's novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So, ready for a showtime? You guys are gonna be the perfect workout for Magnus Fun Grapple 2.0. 2.0? Yep, we're gonna fight that boss battle again. The same boss battle we had in the second chapter is the boss battle in the seventh chapter. Hope you're up for a challenge because this thing is raw horsepower, kiddies. I certainly hope so because it was easy the first time. And here we go, the main boss battle is Magnus Fun Grapple 2.0. Yep, Lord Crump is the boss again. <laughs> yeah, last version was buggy. So made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way of exper experience pain, you junior varsity losers. You're the one who's gonna suffer, Lord Crumb. No matter how many times we do this. We'll see about that, though. So here we go. Lord Crump is indeed the first one. The first thing I want to do is just do regular basic attacks. I don't want to waste 12 points or star power in the beginning. But if you want to use some items, we can do that, though. Like, for example, we can use... Uh, Blue sheets if you want to, you know, make you more visible to the hit. It's soft as well if you can try, but I don't think they really have. I'm not sure if they work on those bosses, but you can try. I'll go with blue sheet anyway. Invisible. And um, I guess uh, she can just attack. There we go. Yes, plus two defense though, so uh, you see, we'll take some damage. Here we come, suckers! Minus drill attack! Ow! Six damage. He's burning though. Pretty good for me. And I just keep the regular attacks. Now, don't, don't waste any flower points, something else, because you want to use them as he summons enemies, because he does summon enemies here, and those can be annoying. I mean, I guess piercing blow is fine though. Deal two more damage for two flower points. Or normal damage for. Yeah. Let's just do a piercing attack. That's six. So he's only done ten damage roughly. Let's keep burning him though. Because enemies that are have the heavy defense, they don't like to be burned. <laughs> Time to leash on the sweet special future of this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Yep, his arms become targets. That's exactly what he wants to save the flower points for. Get in that rock. Out with you. Now we're gonna have multiple enemies to face. Now these sex punches, they don't really have a lot of HP though. They have 5 HP, 9 attack though, so they hurt. Just don't want them to hurt you, be careful. Now it's a better way though to use some heavy attacks though. But in my opinion, don't use any heavy attacks with Mario because that's why you want to keep Vivian here. She can take them down with one hit. Mario though, I guess it's better to just keep the piercing blows. There we go. And Vivian with a Fury Jinx. Should land it though. Like that. Boom! Contest is gone. Ow! Yeah. They, he still hurts though. Now then just keep attacking him like they do. With a heal though in case you need to, but it should be fine. Nice hit though. Let's do one more punch. There you go. Ah! Damn it! I only have full star power. The audience is already maxed, so. 
Oh well. <laughs> Crud. You guys should be a little puzzled by nothing now. Oh well. I still got some tricks up my sleeve. Look with us. He sucks up a lot of crowds. And then. <laughs> Eat this! Yep, look at that. He just shot us by that. That's just not fair. Lucky though, it doesn't really heal though. Like he did, like the. Like Cortez did, like he healed off all his HP. By sucking up part members. But you know, he does this when he's getting low health though, so. If you really have a problem with this though, use Sweet Feast to restore FP, HP, and uh, cure poison. Put. Use Sweet Feast in case this is big, you take too much damage. I was a bit lucky though, and I dodged some attacks. But this one can hurt you for almost 20 HP if you're really not careful enough, so be careful. If you're confident in this, then use Art Attack. But this guy is a big uh, H HP box though, so in my opinion, probably save it for Sweet Feast. I mean, I might as well just use it right now. Because Vivian is a bit low on HP. Look at that. 20, 16, and 14 flower points. We're basically back to max. It costs a lot of star power though, but that's fine. Then let's do another one of those hits. One, two, three, and there we go. Let's send off his uh, arms again. That's good. Oh! Damn it. We could have that actually did some damage, but that's fine. Um, have Mario do a regular attack again on to Magnus from Grapple to no. And then we have Vivian hit them all with her Fury Jinx. And boom! <sighs> no! How? What? My sweet powder rubber is on the ropes! This is wrong! He's almost done, guys. Keep it up. Ow. Hurts a bit, but... One thing I'm glad that I leveled up, because having this more HP will help against these bosses when they do start to deal a lot of damage. Okay, we're almost done in them, guys. We're, he's almost down. Keep it up a bit more. Almost there. His arms back. Oh, good dodge. Nice. I think he has about 10 HP left or something. One more piece to blow. And that's it. Brrrr! 31 star powers. We're almost halfway. Or, oh, well, one third at least. Grodus! And Lord Crump is gone. This is the last time we see Lord Crump, sadly. Goodbye, Lord Crump! And there it is. Mario! Yep. We have done it, guys! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven crystal stars! Your star power is now 8, and Mario can now use the special move, Supernova. The best damaging move in the game, easily. End of chapter 7. Glass crystal star have been hidden in the x Hydrum hide room on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the exclusive Grodus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next?
Well, that is the big question here. Now, because Princess Peach has been taken, we won't be getting any intermission with her, though, sadly. So, we will go straight to Bowser immediately. Well, we're here. Now, where's the stupid Pushly Sanctum? Crystal Star's there, right? So they say, you putrid ness. And lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Great. About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. I get to control Bowser here in the middle of uh, Poshley Sanctum. It's kind of cool though. You can talk to people for some funny dialogue though. Oh look, my heart trembles. The fountain, so elegant. This is art at its finest. So we're observant as usual, my dear Goldbub. Indeed, she is an artist art. Yes, dearest. One can measure the worth by coins. That's what makes art art. And yet the filter which always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yet to seek to buy it, yet how can one appraise it when the eyes cannot perceive? Whoa! I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me. Seriously. Yeah, that's kind of the comment I expect Bowser to say. Um, well, let's get into a sanctum for Bowser. It's locked. You won't budge. Darn it! Luck broke. Whoa, baby, awesome. It opened. Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. Ha. <laughs> ah. I guess. Yes, this is it, Haggy. This is fine lit. Ha 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 At last, I got my mitts on the crystal star. Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute star getting guy. Here comes Pennington. You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm a little thief. I'm. Remorse the King of Evil, the Shadow Thief, Koopa Coot. Of course he's Remorse the King of Evil. Bowser, Remorse the King of Evil. So I'll take what is what I want. And I want this. Uh oh. B -b Bowser, you say? Remorse the King of. What was the last bit again? Yes, well, no matter. Hmm. Yes, yes, I so deducted. Ahem! <coughs> then, list well. That crystal star is actually a veritable red herring. Yes, an imposter. What? what A fake? But look at this fancy display. The pedals on everything, it's so posh. Is this a fake? Then where's the real one, huh? You must know I gave it to the real one, the Luigi. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You got to be kidding me. You tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ah, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time. Hmm. How bothersome. Why that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. Where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! Ah, Paragumba! What you worked up for, hmm? Tell me? Now reporting, sir. Uh, and. Ma'am? Sir and ma'am? March later, the seven crystal stars and headed for a thousand year door. Uh, what? A thousand year door? What in the heck is that? A thousand year door. An unbelievable legendary treasure is behind that door. Arr, and I'm going there too. Immediately. And I'm going to ruin Mario. Will you now, Luigi? Well done, lad. The way not to fail. Yet. Hmm. That was a bit funny. Gotta say. So 
So yeah, no PJ in the mission because PJ has been taken captive by Grodus to somewhere we don't even know where. We finally got all seven crystal stars! Yes! Now we can open the thousand year door! Uh, but... We still don't know where Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rogueport, I guess. Professor Franklin might be able to help us find Princess Peach, right? So, we got the seven stars. We don't know where Peach is, though. And Bowser's probably heading to the Thousand Year Door, too. Maybe even Grodus and Peach is there. Maybe we're gonna have a huge collision at the Thousand Year Door to end this whole game. And we'll see, though. Anyway, next episode, we're gonna get out of the External Fortress, back to Rogueport. And then gonna go to the Thousand Year Door, activate it, and then we will see what will happen next. I think it's going to be interesting, and yet it's going to be extraordinary. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's great for now. See you guys next time with my journey in Pete Mario and the Thousand Year Door.